Hey guys, welcome to Play for Life Comics FOC show for 114 23. Um, give you a little, a uh, uh, little, this is a short one, so we'll give you a little review kind of what this is all about. FOC stands for Final Order Cutoff. It is our last chance to adjust um, books that we have ordered pri previously. Um, so it's our last chance to cut or add uh, the amount of books we order. Um, so what we do is we try to focus on this show and try to do uh, good looking covers, uh, number ones coming out and possible keys and a lot of second prints and things like that end up in the mix too. Uh, and then usually we'll do if, if we think there's an interesting hardcover or omnibus, we'll sneak one in like we did this week. Uh, we do not offer 20% on those. However, we do offer 20% off on anything else you order through us. Um, and to make it easier for <coughs> the order, we do attach a, a Google Docs sheet. And it's got everything. You just click on the box. Uh, I think you enter in your email and all that, and then just click on the box of what you want. And then we leave a big blank space. Um, and that's in case you want multiple copies of anything, or um, there's dozens of other books up for adjustment every week. Um, Every, every book pretty much is up for adjustment each week. So, like, if you just want number 14 of something, um, you can fill it in in there. Uh, the two websites to check out is if it's a DC book, if you want to see what DC books are available that we don't cover, go to LunarDistribution.com. I don't believe there are any this week. Uh, if it's any other company, go to PreviewsWorld.com. And uh, you can surf through there. I, I type in previews, FOC pops right up. You can surf through books coming out and you can order those in the big blank space. Um, and if you guys ever have any questions, we also do offer shipping. Um, we do three live sales shows a week on Facebook and YouTube and have shipping rates for that. And uh, if any of you guys watch those and wants to combine these with shipping, that's something we can do. Just read it, reach out to us and we can quote you on some shipping rates. So, well, is there anything else I need to cover, really? I think that's the wrap up. <coughs> All right. So, without further ado, we will jump in. First title this week is Image Comics Monarch Number One. I thought this one was interesting. Um, it's about an orphaned young man living in Compton, California, um, that's, you know, well known for uh, gang violence and whatnot. And this kid deals with gang members in various uh, capacities and whatnot. And then aliens show up and he is trying to protect his kind of surrogate family and the people he cares about in the rough streets of Compton as uh, aliens are coming. So yeah, it's sort of the story of if you think your life bad, check this it's out. It's going to get even worse. <laughs> right. Um, so at that I'm I'm gonna check this one out. Sounds very interesting. I'm not familiar with the writer and artist, but um, sounds like a fun concept. So uh, you got an A cover by Alex Lenz, B cover by Jason Sean Alexander. So there you go, Monarch from Image Comics, a Space Job. Now this one's interesting. This is uh, obviously in a near future. Um, this guy has had has been working kind of just a, a soul sucking job that just you know not very rewarding, and fine as a chef's assistant. Fam, finally, he's getting to be the first officer on a. From the cover, I'm gonna guess it's a very Star Trek like uh, ship in the near future, maybe like a space force kind of thing, because the ship is named the. Uh, SS George H.W. Bush. So it's obviously in the somewhat near future. Um, obviously long enough ago that nobody really knows who George <laughs> Bush Jr. was. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's just senior, isn't it? H.W. <coughs> Herbert Walker? Maybe it is. Okay. Don't know who senior I, is probably. I think so. I think. If you guys know, let us know in the comments because I think the other one was just George Walker. I'm going to Google that when I get home. Um, anyway, so he's uh, uh, off on this Star Trek-like ship. Uh, first day, he finds himself crashing back to reality. Nothing, nothing seems right. The crew's all weird. Um, so he's going to try to get to the bottom of it. So you got uh, Alvaro Saraseca 
A cover. And the solicitation says he's going to get to the bottom of it, even if it kills him. Okay, yeah. Dies trying. Um, so, yeah, that could be a fun read. Dark Horse, only four issues. You guys heard me say it on the show before. I like a four-issue miniseries because you it's kind of a short, sweet, to-the-point kind of story. Uh, Gold Goblin, number two. If you missed out on Gold Goblin, I forget it was some kind of minor key. Um, got a Medina A cover on that. This is the second print. Also, Invincible Iron Man, number one, second print that came out probably about three weeks ago. Great Mark Bagley cover. New art on that one, I believe, with all the various suits. I always like that kind of thing. All right. These are really interesting concepts. I know they started them um, a year or so ago. There was one. I forget what date Fantastic Four came out. Uh, but what it was, was it was every comic that Marvel put out that month. And they've been doing it since. Um, so, But at the time Fantastic Four came out, it was the only superhero comic. So they had all kinds of their Western, romance, you name it, it was in there. All kinds of good stuff. This one's very similar. Um, so this is stuff that came out July of 63. Uh, so you get things like... Um, what numbers do we got? Okay, Avengers number one, ASM five, FF nineteen, and annual number one, Journey into Mystery ninety six, Modeling with Millie number twenty five, Patsy and Hetty number ninety, and annual number one, Patsy Walker one oh nine, Rawhide Kid thirty six, Sergeant Fury three, Strange Tales one thirteen, Tales of Suspense forty six. Tales to Astonish, 48, X-Men 1, Kathy, 25, Kid Cole Outlaw, 113, Millie the Model, 117, and Two Gun Kid, 66. So you get, with X-Men and, uh, what was the other Avengers. one? Avengers. You get the first issue and then all this other stuff. It's very it, it's very interesting conceptually. Um, Especially the stuff you might not normally ever even read. Right. You wasn't collecting that kind of format. They're kind of putting you in the mindset of being buying everything Marvel off the rack that month. So, um, And just a reminder, we offer 20% off on all single issues. We do not offer it on um, the omnibuses. The uh, margins are just a little too slim. So you got a Javier Rodriguez cover on that one. You also got the Kirby cover from uh, Avengers 1. And the Kirby cover from uh, X-Men 1. So there we go, kind of a cool piece for your, your bookshelf there. Marvel Voices, one, Wakanda Forever, one shot. Uh, for Black History Month, they're doing um, all Wakandan char characters here. And they will be possibly introducing the last Black Panther in a story set in Wakanda's future. Not sure if it's Tosin, not sure if it's something way further in the future. I'm not sure. Um, I know they had Black Panther in space a couple of years ago in one of those series. So, um, yeah, it could be it could be interesting. It could be a, a new introduction to a character there. Great Ken Lashley A cover. Karen Darbo B cover. Uh, Ijiwe Edge Ebenebe. Hope I didn't butcher that one too much. Cool looking cover there, though. Kind of a jungle scene. Uh, Afua Richardson, cover not yet shown. Um, Mary Jane Black Cat, number one with the ball, Bazaldua. Sorry, I hope I didn't butcher that one either. Um, second print cover on that one. Pretty sharp cover. I like this one. Uh, kind of like a very J. Scott Campbell y almost. Uh, Monica Rambeau Photon, number one, second print with a Maresca cover. Murder World Moon Knight, number one. This is, I think, the second to last issue in the whole Murder World thing. Um, oh, they say penultimate in the uh, uh, solicitation. That's your trivia word for the day, uh, or your uh, vocab word for the day, meaning second to last. Uh, just kidding, guys. But this is Moon Knight's in with uh, Arcade and... You know, the, it's supposed to be the biggest twist of the series so far. It's been a bunch of one-shots. 
So it's supposed to, something big is supposed to really reveal on this one kind of what Arcade's up to. So uh, Kyle Hotz, this is the cover I really like with Black Widow there. I like the way the cape is done. Uh, Nightcrawlers, number one of three. This is a three-part miniseries. Um, and it's all these iterations of characters that have been uh, combined with Nightcrawler over the years. So you got kind of Nightcrawler and Wolverine, um, all these various different uh, kind of new iterations of Nightcrawler um, dealing with one another. I'm assuming it's kind of a multiverse kind of book. Oh, yeah. So uh, var the variations and stuff like in Loki. So there you go. Check that one out. You got a Geist B cover, Phil Noto uh, February cover, Scarlet Witch number one second print um, with a Sarah Pacelli new artwork on the A cover there, um, very different. I like the uh, monotone thing in the background. Timeless number one second print with a Patrick Zercher cover. Harrower, number one of four from Boom Studios. Um, there's a town called Harrow, New York in this book, and there's nothing to fear in Harrow, New York, except the Harrower, who they refer to him as a pur purveyor of puritanical vengeance. So I'm guessing he's some kind of uh, pilgrim type puritan. It goes against the yeah. ideas he's come to get you. Yeah, so if, you, yeah, if you're uh, not following the straight and narrow, he's out to get you. And then you got a te teenage girl who's obsessed with him, and she's trying to figure out what the deal is and figure out more about him. And uh, they say it's a deconstruction of the slasher genre. Um, so, you know, if you like horror type books like Tinian type stuff, they compared it to Bone Orchard by Lemire and The Closet by Tinian. So, definitely kind of dark, you know. Uh, horror type vibes so if that's your thing and you like the boom horror books i would definitely jump on top of this one you got a revel a cover and an erica henderson b cover and that wraps it up for us tonight guys um we were having some internet issues amongst other things um so we did not do a sales show tonight uh but we will be back thursday as long as the internet's uh back up and kicking and if you've not come into the store in a while come in check it out we have now expanded if you're familiar with the store we've now expanded into the back room uh so we've by my accounts there's about eighteen thousand more books that you can look at in the store now so definitely come by dig through some boxes check us out and uh, yeah we'll catch you guys next time uh have a safe week out there